In this video, you will learn how to use the blinking, dilation, and automatic tracking features of Victoria's interactive eyes. By the end of the video, you should be able to understand and use the new eye movement features, change the blinking rate, program the pupillary reaction, and use the joystick eye controls for real-time movement. Almost all of the eye movement features can be found in the cephalic menu by clicking the green eye in the sub-menu on the left. Before activating the automatic tracking feature, ensure no hair or other objects are within 4 feet of Victoria's eyes and forehead. To enable automatic eye tracking, click the value next to Eye Auto Tracking, then click Both Eyes. Victoria's eyes will track pens, fingers, and other stimuli horizontally, 6 inches from Victoria's face. When the feature is activated, Victoria will automatically adjust to the ambient space in front of her eyes and forehead. When presenting stimuli for the eyes to track, it is best to approach from the front, rather than extending the arm across the side of the face. Note that like in real patients, thicker objects are easier to track than thin ones. Moving the pen or finger between the eyes and close to the face will cause Victoria to cross her eyes. In the eye auto tracking drop down list, you can also enable individual eyes to track objects, or apply an astagmus when the eyes look in a specific direction by choosing these items from the list. You can apply idle eye movements by clicking the value next to eye movement and clicking any of the idle items from the list. You can also demonstrate temporary strabismus by choosing esotropia or exotropia in either eye or crossed eyes from the eye movement list. Click the value next to eye strabismus to apply a condition that will display with other movements or during tracking. Click the value next to blink state to select a new blinking frequency from the drop down list. You can program eyelid flutters, twitches, and spasms using the blepharospasm severity item. Move the slider to the right to increase the intensity of the spasm. The eyelids can be programmed to droop by clicking the ptosis severity and moving the slider to the right to increase the intensity of the droop. You can control the constriction and dilation of Victoria's pupils by adjusting the values next to pupil dilation. Moving the slider to the right will dilate the eye. Moving the slider to the left will constrict the eye. Using the consensual reaction to light settings, Victoria can be programmed to have non-consensual pupillary response to simulate the symptoms of trauma and neurological disorders. You can also change the amount of time it takes the pupils to dilate after reacting to light stimuli by changing the pupil dilation time. The joystick eye control panel allows you to take a more real-time control of the eye movements. To open the real-time eye controls, click the eye icon in the lower right corner of the software. In the joystick controller, you can move the eyes by clicking and dragging the pupil to any location after clicking the free movement button on the left. You can also select the vertical movement or horizontal movement buttons to make real-time movements in one dimension. On the right side of the panel are options for nystagmus. Simply click one of the options to apply it to the eyes. 